Five steps to making a J Dilla Ninth Wonder Boom Bap type beat. What's up everybody? Chris Puncelon here, back with another video. Um, before we get started, rest in peace Adilla. And um, let's get started. Step one, you're gonna need a sample and I get questions all the time of or about of where I get samples from. Here's a few ways. Number one, go to YouTube and type in hip hop samples or chill samples or samples uh, that are good to sample. Go through the playlist and then once you find a sample, go to audio.rip or you can just Google uh, YouTube audio ripper, rip the audio that way. Number two, you can go to record stores or thrift stores and dig through some vinyls. Of course, you're gonna have to get um, a USB turntable. And number three, uh, you can go to Who Sampled and type in Ninth Wonder, J Dilla, uh, MF Doom, Mad Lib, really any artist. Find out what samples they use and flip the samples that they've flipped and flip them in your own way. For today's video, I'm gonna use this sample. Step number two is to time stretch or time warp your sample. That way you get it in time with your program and you can change the BPM and um, transpose it as much as you want. I'm gonna use this part for my intro because at the end of the four bar loop, um, there's a nice little buildup and it's nice for leading in to the drop or the start of the beat. Our eyes are whispering things I've never heard before. Anymore. Oh, I'm gonna use this part of the sample for the main portion of the beat because I like the way the vocals sound and I think it would be fun to play the vocal chops over the drums. Step three, add drums. And I usually like to add drums before recording the sample chops because I feel like it's easier to play chops over drums than if I was just playing chops over the click track. For this beat, I'm gonna use a drum loop called Stairs for my Payback drum loop kit. Now I'm gonna chop up my sample and record them over the drums. So I've been chopping up samples uh, the same way for a very, very long time. Even when I was on the machine, I was still doing the same technique. So I'm gonna transpose my sample up six semitones because I want that high pitched vocal sound. Then I'm gonna consolidate it. And once you have your uh, eight bar or 16 bar or 12 bar or two bar or four bar loop, you're gonna right click, press slice to MIDI. If you wanna learn how to make this preset, I've also linked a tutorial below. Then you're gonna choose how many slices you want your sample to be sliced in. And for this one, I'm gonna chop mine into 32 different pieces. Now that I have my sample evenly sliced, I'm gonna do my favorite part of the entire process, which is recording the sample chops. Step five, add additional instruments slash arrange. Now I didn't add any additional instruments to this beat, but for the bass line, what I did was duplicate the sample, cut the high end and some of the mid frequencies. Add some more bass to make the bass a little bit fatter and a little bit of distortion. Then I'm gonna cut all of the low end from the original sample. That way the bass sits nicely within the mix. Now whenever I'm working with samples, I usually like to do this for my bass line if I don't add my own. That way I have more control over the bass and I can cut it out when I want and I can turn it up or turn it down or add some effects to the bass without affecting the uh, higher frequencies of the sample. Now for my arrangement, I'm gonna add a tom fill every eight bars and I'm also gonna add some pauses in the beat just to make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah. 
and there you go. The full beat will be on my SoundCloud link in the description, or you can click the link in the pinned comment, and um, yeah. And that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy and found some value in this video, please hit that thumbs up button, and if you're not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. Question of the day. Do you guys enjoy boom bap instrumentals? Let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. If you're interested in purchasing the drum loop that was in today's video, um, it is in the payback drum loop kit. Link in the description, or you can head to chrispunsalon.com. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for paying attention. Please pay your producers, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I messed up the outro. We're just gonna keep it like that because we keep it raw on Chris Punsel on TV. I was supposed to put this lens cap for a cool little outro, but I messed up. Chris Punzelon here. Oh shit, I'm wearing the same fucking shirt.